What's up guys? Welcome back. Wow. Terrible intro. Terrible intro. We're watching AK the Legends match in round 4. The first game against uh, him and Ganicus. Um, who's changed his name to Dosh for some reason. Anyways, it's going to be fought in Rugion. And uh, AK the Legend has brought Epirus. And he's going to be fighting up against Galatia. Which I think is going to be a very interesting showdown. Um, the... Uh, uh, AK has taken Epirus, of course, and he's brought four total Thessalians and one Hellenic Royal Cavalry General. He's brought a very strange Epirus build. Um, he's got a total of three or four uh, cheap slingers. And he's got a total of four militia hoplites, one mercenary Etruscan hoplite, I believe. Yeah, that's over here. And he's brought a mix of really shitty infantry. And he's got, of course, one Aspis companion cavalry. Uh, he's got some uh, mercenary Italian swordsmen, like three of them, and four militia hoplites. So, yeah, it's a very strange little build. And, of course, he's got a mercenary Indian war elephant. So he's definitely focusing on an elephant rush, a more traditional, like, vanilla-esque uh, approach strategy. Um, but of course the uh, Aspis Companion Cav is a new addition and of course the Hellenic Royal Cav is not something that you'd usually see. You'd probably see something like a, a, a Royal Peltis being brought instead. <clears throat> Royal Peltis of course are also very good in, bla in blade balance I think. Anyways, for uh, Gannicus we can see two Celtic Slingers and one Mercenary Syrian Archer in what is a pretty jumbled up but half decent skirmish uh, contingent. We can see a total of four Galatian Legionaries, a total of three uh, Galatian Noblemen, two Galatian Swords, and uh, we can see a couple of light horse and a couple of mercenary Cappadocian cav. A total of three levy freemen, and that's about it. Uh, let's try and take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven total infantry. And I think what's going to really bother Gannicus over here, as these Thessalians just come straight in. Oh my God, what is going on? Anyways, uh, the Thessalians come straight in, destroy, hit the front of the Galatian legionaries, and then improve the chances of the mercenary Italian swords doing better. But the Thessalians are taking a lot of damage here. Uh, and they have to pull back, so is the Hellenic Royal Cavalry, but now the Militia Hopte is going to hold off these Galatian Legionaries. The Elephant is still in the center, not really made it to one side. What's really going to hurt um, Gannicus here is the very perplexing move of not bringing any, uh, uh, any Galatian Raiders or even the Mercenary Horse Skirmishers, which is a very, very strange move against uh, Epirus, because Epirus doesn't really have any quick, cheap uh, cavalry to counter that, not even has, uh, you know, Levy Freeman to really counter them. So here the mil Militia Hopper is going to run away from the Galatian Noblemen, and uh, it's the usual AK strategy of overpowering one flank and then pulling away with the, with the other flank. Uh, the mercy, uh, the Militia Hopper is doing a good job in holding off a lot of the, um, a lot of the Galatian Legionaries here. Four Galatian, uh, three Galatian Legionaries, one uh, Nobleman just held off doing nothing. This Galatian Legionary holding, uh, holding off a mercy Italian swordsman who've gotten 40 kills already. The Aspis Companion Cav gotten 55 kills. Now the Mercy Capadocian Cav do, are helping out and will kill off that um, Aspis Companion. But now the Elephant hasn't really moved in yet, but he doesn't really have anything to worry about. He doesn't. The Mercy Syrian Arch is busy firing into the Thessalian Cav. And all in all, it just looks peachy. Really peachy for the Mercy, uh, for AK. But his Elephant Charge just got stopped. And he is taking some friendly fire and he did take a huge javelin body to the face. Cavalry counter tactics popped with the Galatian Nobleman. If anything, these are the units that will help him the uh, help him win off this game. The Mercy Indian War Elephants just got slaughtered. They haven't gotten a single... Like, they've gotten 23 kills. The Galatian Nobleman General gotten a double XP shot run right from that. Galatian Legionaries will be able to kill off the Mercenary uh, Militia Hoplites, but the Mercenary Etruscans will actually do decently. Um, Mercenary Cappadocians will help out in killing off the Hellenic Royal Cav, but the Mercenary Italian Spearmen will help out in that engagement immensely because they've got good bonus for just cavalry and as well, um, they're just, you know, aggressive anti-cavalry spears. The Indian Royal Fins now uh, running around, getting a lot of kills on the Galatian Noblemen, I would assume, but all in all, huge waste of money on these guys. Weren't used effectively at all by AK, I think. Uh, should have just stuck to the traditional strategy of moving them around one flank and then killing them off the, and killing off the enemy that way. Militia Hoplites now in a very stick, sticky situation. He really needed the elephants to help him win off this combat, win off this battle. The Galician noblemen now really th there's not much uh, in the uh, against these Galician noblemen now. They, there's one nobleman general with 86 men, one Galician nobleman with only 66. The slingers probably getting a lot of good kills, and the Thessalians uh, you know charge after charge probably uh, hurting them way too much. But this Galatian nobleman, you see, like, against the Thessalians, they're going to just destroy them. The Thessalians don't have the greatest mass. Uh, Galatian noblemen, all they need to do now is to pop cavalry counter tactics, and the Thessalians are basically destroyed. And, uh, oh, there's this Indian Royal Elephant still back there with six uh, units left. 
and it's going to hit the Galatian nobleman general who has 80 men now while they're being held away. I still don't think the Indian war elephant is going to do well, uh, very well. They'll probably die very, very soon. But the Hellenic Royal Cavalry General could help out. Uh, the Galatian swords here have done decently against pretty shit units, so you know that you have to expect that. The Aspis Companion Cav now charging into the Galatian noblemen, which I don't think is the greatest idea. Um, should be instead focusing on these Galatian legionaries. That's really where they'd excel. But they're going to go ahead and rear charge this Levy Freeman and then kill it off that way. Uh, the noblemen general still doing so well. They've, they're down to 60 men now. This uh, Indian Royal Fin is inflicting at least a lot of uh, hit point damage and that's making the uh, Italian swordsmen perform better than they usually would. But triple XP Chevron with the Galatian noblemen, they are going to get rear charged now. So the general is probably not going to last for much longer. The Aspis companion cap really can help turn around this game now because 36 men left. As long as they choose the right targets, they will do brilliantly. And this is one of those targets that they can really excel against. Oh, but it looks like they're just turning around. Maybe baiting a javelin from the... Oh, perfect, perfect. He's making the uh, Galatian uh, legionaries chase after the Aspis companion cab while his um, slingers fire into their rear, which uh, was great use of those uh, of the Aspis companion there. The Hellenic Royal Car uh, Cavalry just charging into the Galatian noblemen. They're very low in, ter in terms of men now. And the increased mass of cavalry is really going to help out, along with uh, ch the uh, trample ability. He's using... Intimidate beautifully here because his general isn't it at the end of the day a precarious situation So using intimidate would not let the Galatian uh, nobleman get off a desperate uh, cavalry counter tactics And he has really and AK really has pulled away pulled this game out of the bag there from the early initial Massive setback the g general has died the Galatian legionaries do have decent morale uh, and they, they aren't disciplined those of course So they're probably gonna hurt significantly from this it is still a very close game but then there are these difference makers the aspis companion cap with 30 men this one difference maker is here with 67 men the galatian nobleman they've done recently and of course shield screen with its uh, slight bonus for his infantry has also helped them out against the infantry units that they were facing up against but it's going to be a bit too little for uh, Gannicus here he needs to get a critical javelin volley on the aspis companion cab and get another critical javelin volley off on the um, on the uh, hellenic royal cab and then they still have to deal with a mercenary... Uh, well, the infantry regiment is not much, but it is going to be able to kill off these guys. Just a few too few um, Galatian legionaries who are still getting pelted with sling, sling, uh, slingshots. You can see all of these slingers have done really well for how cheap they are. And now the Hellenic Royal Cavalry General going to just uh, destroy... Where? Ah, there they are. Going to destroy this um, Galatian nobleman. They're down to 58 men. They, I mean, that's still a lot of men for these guys. But it's just, it's the morale penalties here. Costly victory for um, AK the Legend. And uh, yeah, he's done pretty well. This was, uh, he recovered very well. He, you can see the Thessalian cab did really well. Hellenic Royal cab did brilliantly. And uh, so did the Aspis Companion cab. The, you know, bringing this sort of army is good in only the way that AK the Legend used it. Because, uh, well, honestly, he didn't use it perfectly. Uh, a, you know, a hypothetical perfect use of this army would be to, uh, you know, charge uh, your elephants from the side and then make sure that they get a lot of kills. <clears throat> but this Ep Epirus build is very nice in that it gives you flexibility. If Even if you fuck up with your Indian Royal Elephants, as you can see here, you do have huge units still left in the Hellenic Royal Cav and the Aspis Companion Cav and then 4th Assailian Cav, of course, who are very, very good. Uh, in terms of Gannicus's army, it was a pretty poor army, if I uh, if I do say so, because you can see these Galatian noblemen. Expensive units didn't really do much. The general did well, but then the light horse, that's 900 talents gone down the drain. Sure, I mean, you know, what else could he spend it on? Yeah, there, there, there are a couple of units that he could have spent it on. He could have spent it on Galatian raiders, which would have added some significant uh, mobility, which could have killed off the slingers at the end, who did a really good job. Um, he could have, uh, and they could have also helped kill off the elephants far quicker. And, uh, you know, these elephant kills actually were on the general. So, you know, that, those were pretty important elephant kills, even though they were significantly lower than what you would expect. Uh, he could have brought some horse skirmishes as well, increased his cavalry in terms of numbers, made sure that the that there were fewer militia hoppities uh, left to engage his Galatian legionaries because then they would be chasing away the mercenary horse skirmishes. So, yeah, there was definitely definite improvements. When you see someone bring light horse against uh, Epirus, then you know that... Uh, you know, it's it's not really a good idea. Uh, it's it's not a great army. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this battle and stay tuned for more. Peace.